Hey, I'm Decathlon Gamer. Welcome back to Pro Cycling Manager 2020. This is All Rounder episode number 37. We're at the Valois Belgium Tour, and somehow I have the lead. Yes, we are sitting in first place, both in the points classification and in that leader's jersey itself. After a surprise victory and then uh, hanging on from the break, and then also scoring a, a pretty uh, good second stage finish that has us in a strong position here on the final two stages of this race. So we're halfway through and the peloton is beginning to break apart. There are a lot of riders away, uh, quite the, the hefty group of riders, and it is going to be my team's job to do most of that chasing, and you can already see. I'm in good shape. My teammates? Yeah, really not so much. So uh, we got our work cut the out for us. The really breakaway, so for the moment, we pretty big, too many attacks. but their lead, which was about four and a half minutes, is now down to just under two and a half. And the peloton itself, like I said, is already starting to break apart. And this is a bad sign for me as I'm not much of a climber. I can see we, we just drift back and that helps us keep our position. Uh, but I'm, I'm very quickly going to be down to just four teammates and before long, no teammates. One rider has gone a minute clear of the rest of the break and that is very good for us as it uh, does indicate that the majority of them will be brought back soon enough. Think are going to get water one final time. 66k to go. Okay, that lead rider, well, he, he didn't last long. Uh, he fell back to that main group, but the peloton, oh my goodness, it just shattered. Uh, Move that one. Plankart got water for himself, but after getting split off, he has not made it back up here. So, that's going to be an issue. 56k to go. Still nine riders off the front. Roe, Rusin hanging on. Plankart hanging on. Mobak. Yeah, he's nearly done. Uh oh, the gap is widening. It's now more than two minutes. The okay, peloton seems content no to let it grow. Some team managers enough. mustn't appreciate the fact that there is a breakaway, given that the pack has increased its speed. There's an abandon in the back. Let's hope that the rider isn't too upset. All right, more splits in the front group. Again, that's definitely a good thing for us, but we are down to just 80 in this chasing group. This is, Alex's this is intense. Goes the attack. It's a lot more than what I expected. I expected it to be intensifying about now and the group's starting to break apart now, but it's already quite small. And as the peloton now goes to about the 50, is its I'm rate. alone. Some teams can't be happy so with the, the race leader, alone, it's going to be up to the other teams now to chase down the break because there's no way that I'm leaving that out. I have zero support. I'm just hanging on for dear life. The biggest climb of the day is next. I've had no water for a significant amount of time, but as this group thins out, I might be able to take care of that myself here at some point. This climb okay. is feared this is by that many severe riders. climb. The We're in the black section high. now. The front group is got up over 14 there for a moment. This opportunity to attack. For a moment, we have contact. It's survival of the fittest, Does it and hold? evolution no. doesn't seem to favor those in a the rear. Few riders. There's a growing list of riders nope. left behind. Never mind. Now the group is thinning. 45 with 30 kilometers to go. This little uphill that we're about to hit is probably the best time to grab oh some water. I can see a rider on the tarmac. On my own, so let's Thank goodness take he looks fit that. to get back in the race. There's the acceleration. I go back to get water for myself and all of a sudden a bunch of guys hit the accelerator sensing a weakness as I'm towards the back but we recover a little fatigue set in though more than a little actually 35 riders left in the peloton just two riders now left off the front and they are split they're not riding together and their chances very slim 
penultimate climb and we're seeing a big acceleration. Take position here behind uh, Angles. That didn't work so well. As Jungles goes on the attack, I'm really not the guy to cover this kind of stuff off, and that's the only bad news for us. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And all of a sudden, these guys just ride off the front. Flat tire! It always happens at the wrong moment. That wasn't even an acceleration. All right, there we go. It's still together. 22 riders. Joseph attacks. A courageous Jungles rider now is doing looking the work. Just away. 21. And... Coming up on that final climb. 17k still to go. It's not flat through here. It's going to be slightly uphill. Then we have that nice little descent. And then we go into kind of a dual final climb. Another attack off the front. This time. And he moves on to the attack. It could be decisive. Holly Colkin. Except for it's not Macaulay. And we don't need to bring that guy in. Alright, nice recovery here on this descent for me. Peloton back to 34. He's out to a minute 22. He's going to win. He's going to win. We sat up massively. He is 9 minutes 37 seconds behind overall. Therefore, not a threat. Right. Yeah, he, he is cruising to victory right now as nobody, everybody's waiting to battle this out. Gel up now. We want to have plenty of energy through the first part and then hang on through the second part. Minute 45 is his lead. The riders are going through a very tough right, portion with percentages above 10%. I see a rider with a flat tire. It's happened at a very oh, bad time. Through. There are just five kilometers left. One and a half K. Here goes Youngles again. Okay, fine. Don't follow the attack. <laughs> It'll be easier to follow Denise anyway. Ooh, we're catching up to him. Follow it over Dennis. I think that's a little easier. Youngles defeated. Down to 34. 700 meters. Finish right there. We have survived. And the final sprint is off. Who's going to be the first to the line today? Sprint to the finish. Ewan's going to take it again. That could give him the overall race win, which is exactly Victory what I predicted. But we'll be on the same time here. Ewan, Trentin, Jakobsen, the sprinters, go off and claim the podium. Denise, Joseph, good finish for him. I'm outside of the top 10. Wow, all the way down in 16th. There the were a lot run, of riders half a wheel in front of me just to, to my right side, probably eight or so. As we certainly, we, we looked certain to be top 10, but we were at one edge of the road. The other edge of the road was completely full. Not that that part matters other than the points classification. Uh, Ewan's probably going to steal that away here anyway with one final stage. I doubt that I'm in the race lead anymore, but I think I might have second. Final stage. I still have the lead, but only by a single second ahead of Jakobsen. Ewan is 10 seconds behind, so I could still probably drop to third. There is another rider in between, but they're less of a threat in the sprint. So, real possibility that I drop down the order. 100k to go, 8 riders in the break, 3 minute lead, and here's what I'm thinking. Glance over, there's that beautiful, beautiful green, plus 5 next to my name. My stamina is an 80 today, resistance almost. Sprint in the low 70s. That's not going to beat Ewan. It's not going to beat Jakobsen. They both have 82 for their sprint. But my flat rating 
of 82 with that stamina resistance, that, my friends, is the only chance that I have of beating them. Having it come down to stamina, outlasting them. Now, my team sucks, but if we can destroy this peloton, two things can happen. One, we can catch that group of eight before the sprint point, as we go and I can attack. Stage of the race. Two, I think this plank art, yeah, yes. Okay, plank art's my guy. I'm gonna take all four of these guys. We're gonna put them on relay, and we're gonna set an 80. Is that enough to go to the front? Looks like it is. We're gonna put a little hurting into the field. And maybe, just maybe, we will begin to shatter it a little bit and the pack is increasing its work rate. create some, some teams can't be happy excessive with the fatigue in the group so that by the time we reach the end of the stage, the sprinters, they're not so fresh. They're not so on it. They got to sprint in the final few hundred meters instead of the final one and a half K. Maybe. Just maybe with my plus five then we can uh, take it. So let's see what happens. Four guys set to 80 on relay. What can they do? Right now, breakaway holding the gap. And we're not the only ones committing to this, and it's really not even coming down. So let's do two things here. One, I'm going to need to go 80. And we're going to speed them up even more. I think right now the only damage we're doing is A, to those four riders, and B, to the breakaway. A ball is They've just obviously the accelerated. Kalmashan and Gilead, which are both Some up there. Definitely will be able to keep up. I was hoping to catch the break before the sprint point. No way that's happening now. It's already just eight kilometers away. There's the finish line. Slightly downhill. Some team managers mustn't appreciate the fact that there is a breakaway, given that the pack has increased its speed. Alright, I'm going to take two of these guys. Put them on hold position. Let them recover a bit. Not the only ones at the front anymore. Gaps down to 150. The pace is really hot, so for the moment we shouldn't see too many attacks. Guys up front, clearly a bit fatigued. I think Art just brought water to everyone. He's still in good shape. Oh, I lose control of Plank Art though after he got the water. Oh, come on. Look, it's a great flat rating. Let's go ahead and put Ro back on relay now that. Uh, So is done. Cool one's not going to last much longer. 34k to go. Gap's still at a minute 30. I do think there is some damage being done in the field though. Oh, big crash. Row and Mobak both go down in it. There's a mass Relay crash Raiders, in the back, riders, it doesn't look too and they pull serious. a number Falling of guys behind. with them. But there goes two behind. of my support riders. And Rusin was dropped in it. There's a big split, just 35 in the peloton at the moment. Now it's just 23 with 25k to go. Okay, it's back up to 35. One group regains contact. I mean, this could actually be a really good thing. Leaving riders isolated, not having support. And if the chase continues, 
hard. If Kulin gets dropped here, maybe just maybe Plank Art will ride for me. Could lead me out. There is the breakaway. And there we go, Plank Art. 15 in kilometers support. remaining. Just the two of us left. 33 chasing the eight. Some riders were not giving it their all and sharing the pace. And there's an attack at the front. Breakaway could go falling all the apart. Way. One rider left so far. Now one more out the back. Ten Down kilometers to, six. to the finish line. Ten K to go. Alright, we're gonna take a moment. Let's find our our threats. There's Ewan. There's an 8185. Holy cow. And he is barely tired, unfortunately, and he still has Mirsh. He's got support. There's Trentine. He's not tired either. It's the problem with uh, world class riders. <laughs> I might be on a plus five today, but compared to me, they're on a plus five every day. So this might be hurting a lot of riders in the field, but it's not hurting them. There's Jakobsen. Then 81, 81, and yes, they're all fine. So this is doing no good whatsoever. So Plankart, your task is to protect me. Uh, those six riders at the front, though, have pulled out a minute here with six kilometers to go. There are just five kilometers left. Four and a half K. All right, it is time. Follow plank art, plank art. Start to at about a 90. He has no sprint option. I think he'll have it inside last three. Yes, there it goes. A okay, 2.4. It's going 2. to be 2. very fast. Okay, give me his sprint. Wait, Only a wait, few wait. riders are capable of following the very fast pace up front. You can give me a little bit more. There you go. Wow, look at that. He's riding away from me. <laughs> uh, breakaway looks like they might be holding this thing. We've opened a gap over the field. We've opened a gap over the field. This is a good. Great this is good. Ian he Sanner really has taken the, the stage. Well. Hopefully those five haven't done anything. I just would have won the stage would have. The tail uh, are I think still it would have been in. different though, all things considered. Jakobsen takes eighth, you and Knights, so they don't gain time. This could be good for us. I don't gain time either. But man, oh man, that plus five actually did pay off, but more so it was just the attack at the right time. And Plankart was very helpful. It's nice having teammates that I actually can make a difference, you know, unlike stage four where we rode alone for almost 50 kilometers. And just in case you missed them, here are the race highlights. one of those breakaway riders. We're up there on time. We've won the race. We'll see. 45 seconds. And the gaps hold. So no changes. There was only 10 riders left on that same time. Barring time bonuses, only two of them without some sort of time bonus in there somewhere. <laughs> There was a prologue that spread us apart, but we hang on to the one second victory over Fabio Jakobsen. Chino takes third. Ewan claims fourth place, 10 seconds down. I actually beat them in that final sprint. Oh, but Jakobsen, how if I beat him? Oh, because the previous stage. I end up three points off claiming the points classification. We obviously get the under 25s as I won the race overall itself. And we were fifth as a team. That's got to be worth something though, because we do claim the win. It's 40 points. Second in the points classification, that three points would have made a big difference. We get back to 99%. And we are now just 25 away from our next level. And we have claimed 
an overall victory in the Balouise Belgium Tour, which now puts us at 10 for our career, 4 for the season, 2 within this race. And some close calls in there. Being on a fitness peak has really, really helped. So midpoint of our third season, we're going to review a couple things here quickly. Uh, here is our current potential, looking a lot better after we raise the uh, cobblestones by five points. Everything has a minimum 76 potential. That's still, that. that's not great. Uh, that is not great at all. But remember, we did start on the hardest setting for that, the lowest potential. Here's our growth so far. You can see we, we leveled up quite a bit in those first few months till May of the opening season. And then things slowed down. So it took us another seven months to gain an additional level. And then we got one four and a half months later, four months after that. Four months from there at the end of the year. And then our last level up was April again, four months. So we've consistently been at four months for the last handful of levels. The longest we went was that season one stretch after we took off and got kind of our first basic levels and then had no skills, <laughs> no strength. But we got the cheap, easy levels quick and it brought things relatively close to each other. And you see outside of Barador, how balanced we are. I mean, I've never seen a chart quite like this one, how everything is just right there. But for now, you know, that, that next level, it's coming. Uh, at this rate, we're, we're ahead of schedule. So we've had a really good stretch after this latest level. And we, we didn't improve at all. Uh, that was just potential. So here we are with a chance to get a little boost. I'm definitely not leaving this team uh, at the end of this season. I'm staying put. I'm happy with the kind of results we're able to get this year. And hopefully next year I can do something similar or even more as I level up a little bit before we uh, see ourselves into the world tour and see myself getting blown away once again. But for now, uh, things are good. And I I'm excited that we have level 18 coming in just 25 points. Uh, we have half a month at the worst to get that. And we, we still got some more races to come this month, including, yeah, the U.S. individual time trial just a day away and the road race. So next episode, those three races are going to be within that one. Guaranteed, I've got to be able to find 25 points over those next three races, right? So it should happen before the end of the month. Speaking of, uh, we actually even still have one more race before the end of the month. So... That next level is coming here in June, and that is some rapid progress compared to where we were previously. That's going to be our fastest level up since we first started playing. Now, the team, well, it's Ineos Astana, Astana on top of Continental Rankings. Uh, we're up to sixth in the Continental Rankings as a team. We're up to 18th overall, third in the Continental, in the Super Prestige category. 2,000 points as a team. Individually, Egon Bernal leading the rankings. I'm 34th in the World Tour. 8th in the Continental rankings. And 10th in the Super Prestige. I have roughly half of the points of our team right now. So, uh, leading the way even though I am not even close to being a team leader. That's pretty awesome that I've been able to do that. And with four wins to my name now, that's put me up the order quite a bit. That is going to do it, though, for this episode. I'm the Decathlon Gamer. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to hit that like button, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Be safe out there, and bye for now.